beautiful people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman i'm emma and i was just having a fight with the wardrobe upstairs as i was trying to cram some coats into it that it prompted me to make a very quick video about what i call groundhog day clutter which i talk about on the very first video i ever did to be honest i did bore myself i went on quite a lot but i was very nervous but um while it's a first world problem groundhog day clutter is all the stuff in your home that drives you mad pretty much every day so maybe you are fed up of falling over shoes when you come home from work or picking up towels from overladen towel hooks in the bathroom because they keep falling off or unable to open the doors properly in your bedroom because there's so much stuff hanging on the back of them whatever it is you'll know straight away what your groundhog day clutter is and i guess the moral of this little video is what can you do right now to make that groundhog day clutter less stressful for you do you just need to get an extra basket for your shoes or ditch some of the shoes in the first place do you need to put an extra hook on the bathroom door or reduce the amount of towels you own um, do you actually need all that stuff that's getting in your way and in my case I have put off sorting my coats out for a long time um, if I'm honest because I'm not looking forward to it I absolutely love coats they're my thing and despite being ruthless when it comes to being able to reduce stuff in my house and resist the temptation of bringing more stuff into my home the coats have gone under the radar for a long time and I know it's because I don't really know where to start and also I am fully intending on selling some of those coats and I just haven't got the time to photograph them, measure them, list them, pack them away, find somewhere to store them until such time that they sell so there's reasons why I'm putting it off but having done a recce and realising to my horror I own over 20 coats in what is a small house <laughs> and there's only one body, 20 coats, I know I've got to do it and I also know that so many of those coats are not earning their keep, they're not earning a place in my home and I would much rather the space than the stuff, the clarity than the clutter and the mental headspace from the stress it gives me and the, uh, that feeling of calm in my home instead of chaos and it reminded me that it doesn't matter how much we may love something or how sentimental or expensive it may be if it hasn't got a designated place is too big for the space it's in or doesn't get used then whether we like it or not it may still be clutter and um, I know that now those cherished coats of mine are indeed clutter in my life and they need to go. So I will post a video on how I decide to reduce them down, which might be helpful for anyone that has a lot of the same type of items and doesn't know quite where to start. But um, if you're watching this video and you, like me, spend a lot of time silently swearing... <laughs> the stuff that you are trying to manage in your home or certainly I have done in the past then um, yeah I think that all of this will resonate with you so identify your groundhog day clutter see if there's anything practically you can do to help yourself right now and um, until next time as always if you're overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can we all deserve to lead a clutter-free life physically and emotionally i'd love you if you're a new subscriber to leave a little comment so that i can welcome you to the overwhelmers and um, now i am as always going to get a cup of tea